What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, if you can ring the little bell, buy my soul job. I super duper appreciate you saying, saying, saying. Uh, I got, I woke up just a few minutes ago, actually, and um, I got a channel to end, so I decided to come in here and share it, and we'll do a reading on it and see if we get anything else on it. Um, thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. You guys are just a bomb freaking diggity.com. You really, really are. Um, I appreciate all the love and support, likes, subscribes, and shares. If you'd like to donate to the channel, it's High Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. Just saying, just saying, saying. Okay, so um, the channel I received was um, a water sign is going to try to come back and um, work with you, is what I heard. Um, collaboration. I heard collaboration. Um, but I heard beware so, uh, some of these water signs are obsessed some i heard beware some are obsessed and some are a secret baby uh karmic baby mom that's what i heard so um you plug it in however that resonates in your life um you plug it in however that resonates in your life um it's water sign energy they're going to try to come back and collaborate with you or collaborate um, I heard some of these water signs are obsessed with you and some are um, a secret karmic baby mama, secret karmic baby mama. So some of the water signs, if they're coming back, it can be masculine or femme. I guess the ones that are obsessed with you, um, that could be masculine or femme. But obviously the secret baby mama would be a femme energy or a transsexual, somebody with femme, femme parts to produce a child. So, um, you plug it in however that resonates in your life. Um, beware of water sign energy trying to come back and collaborate with you. Of course, you know, use your best discernment and logic. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. So, use your best discernment. Use your best discernment, best intuition, best logic. You know, some they might try to text you, some they might try to message you, some they might email you, some they may snip, may snail mail you, some they may call you, some they may show up in the 3D. Um, if they show up in the 3D, I hope to God they call first. Just saying, just saying, because that's really fucking rude if they don't. Um, but everybody's different. So, you know, you plug it in your life however it fits, but the obsessed water signs could be a masculine or femme is what I'm trying to say. And the um, the secret karmic baby mama energy obviously has feminine parts of some nature, whether it's a transsexual, or whether it is a, um, fem, you know, just feminine parts. So you plug it in however that resonates. Just use your best discernment and intuition, logic, and reasoning. Um, of course, everybody has free will, and you can do what you want to do. I hope everybody is um, having a fantastical day. I do, I do, I do. Excuse me. I'm just letting you guys know on this video, um, I might not do a daily tea today, just to let y'all know. And if I do, it might be a little later um, because I'm gonna, probably going to sleep in. Just saying. Um, just saying. Some of these water signs have heavy, heavy, heavy addictions. Heavy. Okay, I heard some of these water signs have heavy, heavy, heavy addictions. Heavy. So you plug it in how it fits. Heavy addictions. So whatever that might be, it might be um, drug addictions. It might be sex addictions. It might be um, gambling addictions. It might be alcoholism. It might be one or both. You plug it in your life, however that resonates. Spirit messages you have for the collective. But I will say this, there's a reason they're trying to come back and collaborate with you. Uh, with some of them, well, we heard from Spirit, they're obsessed. Um, but some, there might be other reasons. They might be trying to take your money. They might be trying to take your fame. fame. They, I mean, there, there's a plethora of reasons. So, you know, obviously use your best discernment and logic. 
because um, there's a reason. There's a reason they're wanting to come back now. Now, for some of you guys, you might have seen it. It might have it's only been two days since you've seen them. Some of it might have been two weeks. Some of it might have been two years. Some of it might have been 20 years. Um, you plug it in however it fits, but there's a reason they want to come back is what I'm trying to say. And I, I don't think it's pure-hearted reasons is what I'm saying. Spirit messages you have to play this. And I'm just being for real about that. I'm so serious. Fair message is here after like this. I mean, if it was me, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I mean, well, it would depend on the person. It would depend on the person. But um, all my people from the past are pretty shitty. So I wouldn't. But, you know, you take it how it resonates. Spirit messages, you have reflected. Yeah, oh my God, we got surprised. I heard they, they want to. Um, they want to come back. They want to come back. They want to surprise you. Or they think they want to surprise you. And for some, it might be a physical surprise. They might just show up at your freaking doorstep. So that might be why we have surprise here, too. Um, I would be so fucking pissed if somebody just showed up my damn doorstep. Just for real, for real. I do not appreciate that. I do not appreciate that. My family know, knew that in the past. My family used to do that all the fucking time. They used to annoy the shit out of me. And they didn't like it when I told them, don't fucking show up at my doorstep unannounced because that's rude as hell. And one of my older, my older brother's ex-girlfriends used to say the same thing. My mom used to get really, real foster mother used to get very, very pissed that she would say the same thing. But it's true because it's rude. Because it's rude. That's why. So some of them, I think they might. I truly think they might just show up at your damn doorstep. And I'm serious about that. I'm so serious. Spirit messages you have reflected. Spirit messages you have reflected. Some of these water signs have recently been in a motor vehicle accident. Some of them are about to get in one soon. Oh my God. I heard some of these water signs have recently been in an accident, motor vehicle accident, and some are about to get in one soon. So you plug it in however that resonates. Some have recently been in a motor vehicle accident and some have um, are about to get in a motor vehicle accident. So, um, it sounds like it, this might be universal karma preventing them from getting to you for some of them, um, possibly for some, because I heard some have already been in a motor, motor vehicle accident and some are about to get in a motor vehicle accident. So, you know, there's severities in motor vehicle accidents for some, they could, you know, very minor fender benders for some extreme motor vehicle accidents to where it takes you know you're hospitalized and um and it's um it's terrible so um there's different levels and degree and severities of motor vehicle accidents you, some of them you walk away the next day some you were lying up in a hospital bed so but i think feel for some of these water signs um i don't feel healthy energy i'll tell you that i do not feel healthy energy i don't um, some are just straight up obsessed you, with you. Obsession is never, never good. Never good in any form, realm, ever. Um, ever. Obsess obsession with a person is never healthy. Obsession with a thing is never healthy. That's what creates gluttony and um, crimes and things of that nature is obsession, mental obsession. 
um, trying to be better than the Joneses, stealing from people, gluttony, eating, 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 causing yourself own medical conditions because you just cannot control your urge to eat. I mean, those kind of things is what I'm trying to say. So, um, um, I do feel it's universal karma for some of these people. I do. Uh, and I heard some of them have addictions. So that could be out and that, that could have caused them a previous motor vehicle accidents for some and some, the ones upcoming, but that could be alcoholism. It can be drug addictions. It can be, um, uh, gambling. It can be sex addictions. It can be one or can be all you plug in it, however it fits. And then we got player. I heard they're obsessed with you. So, um, and I don't feel net, I don't feel positive energy. So they're player energy. Um, that I feel they want to come and take and take and take like an energy succubus. Su I can't speak mercury retrograde like an energy succubus like an energy succubus they just want to come and take from you um whether it's your time your energy your money um your um sex i mean you plug it in however it fits but they obviously just want to come take 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 not copacetically give um yeah oh my god so we we have surprise Okay, I didn't hear anything. I didn't hear the, any, anything, but um, I think some of them are going to show up on your doorstep. I th think some are going to show up on your doorstep, and I think you're. Um, I think it's going to surprise the fuck out of you. If I was you, I wouldn't even answer the door. Of course, everybody has free will, but it's rude as fuck to show up on somebody's doorstep just unannounced. It really, really is. It truly really is. I mean, it is. So, uh, if it was me and those assholes just showed up at my doorstep, just um just out of the fucking blue i wouldn't answer the goddamn door i just wouldn't um and for some they might just text you they might just text you message you um snail mail you and you will be surprised um because for some you might not have had contact with them for 10 years 20 years two years two months and you're gonna be surprised so you plug it in how it fits heard some and we got accident upright i heard some have previously been in motor vehicle accidents and some are about to get in them um but i feel like i told you guys earlier i feel that's universal karma so we have accident upright um because if they truly 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 i feel this is a very succubus energy I don't feel this is a water sign upright energy of giving loving and kindness towards you. It's somebody from your past. It's somebody from your past. They want to collaborate with you. So they want to work with you on a business round. But some they're obsessed with you and some they're a secret karmic baby mama. So they're not going to tell you they're a secret, um, for some of you, a secret karmic baby mama. Meaning they are a secret baby mama of one of your exes is what that means uh, for anybody doesn't know. And a karmic is somebody that has blocked something in your life in some shape, form, or fashion at one point in time. Maybe for some, it could have been one point in time. For some, it could have been 200 points in times. But they have blocked some kind of opportunity for you in some shape, form, or fashion, either one time or 200 times. That is what karmic energy means. So, and they've not only blocked the opportunity for you in the past, whether it was love, whether it was... Um, money whether it was career whether it was um celebrity fame status whether it was a a payout or a settlement or whatever um something positive in your life um they're a secret uh karmic baby mama so they're a secret baby mama and they blocked something positive for you so they have had it out negatively for you in the past but now they want to come back and be rosy dozy with you that that doesn't that's not right up e up here it's really not right up here. It's not. And it's ob that's a femme energy, obviously. But the other one could be masculine or femme. So um, I'm just saying. And we have player energy. So they're player energy. They, I think for some of them, they get around. I think they get around. For some of these uh, secret karmic baby mamas, they could be prostitutes that are frequenting these hole-in-the-wall, behind-the-scenes, uh, non-licensed abortion clinics that I've been pulling in, possibly. Um, for some, they could be prostitutes. For some, they could just be players. Um, just um, out in the, they just like to play people. Um, 
just saying, just saying. But I'll tell you, the secret karmic baby mama, she's fucking secret jealous, secretly jealous of you. I mean, you have player cards. It's in the messages and cards all day long. Play your card. She's not going to tell you she's a secret karmic baby mama. She's not, when she comes around, I'm sure for a lot of you guys, she's probably not going to tell you. She's probably not going to tell you she, um, one of her kiddos running around is one of your exes, is what I'm trying to tell you. Um, it's in the messages and the cards, just for real, for real. I mean, it's clear as fucking day in here. And it's a water sign. They could have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Warp, Dome, and Hammer, Jupiter. You plug it in however that resonates. Um, she's obsessed with you, man. She's obsessed. I don't know how else to say it. Let me pull some tea leaves. She is. Now, the masculine or femme, well, I'm not saying she is. I heard obsessed, and then I heard secret karmic baby mama. So the secret karmic baby mama, there's a reason she's coming back, but she's not going to tell you for a lot of you guys, I feel, that um, spirit messages you have reflective, that um, that she, one of her little youngins running around is one of your exes is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> now, the obsession energy could go masculine or femme. Um, sorry, I got that confused. But yeah, the obsession uh, energy could go masculine or feminine. It really could. Spirit messages you have reflected. Okay. We have spear. These water signs are very, very, very pissed because they know they have lost a wonderful thing. And it was you. Okay. I heard a water sign. Uh, these water signs are very, very pissed because they know they have lost a wonderful, wonderful thing. And it was you. So... You were the wonderful thing in their life, whether um, you were a positive business collaboration with them, whether you um, were um, a positive family member in their life in some shape, form, or fashion, whether maybe you gave good advice, maybe you were level-headed, maybe you um, were very helpful and useful in some shape, form, or fashion, but they took advantage of you. Because whoever this is, they took advantage. They took advantage of you. Some in one way, some in many ways, I feel. Um, and it's a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But they didn't want to admit that they did. For some, it could be an ex-co-worker. And they just, um, they talk so much shit about you or try to sabotage you in some shape, form, or fashion. Or they did sabotage you. Um, for some, it could be an, um, a neighbor or an ex-neighbor um, that just, um, maybe they were so obsessed and they, Fucking was creeping through your blinds. Maybe they have binoculars. Woo -woo. I mean, you plug it in however it fits. Spear. But I heard um you were, um, they know they lost a good thing with you. They know they lost a good thing with you. So you were very positive, influential part of their life in some shape, form, or fashion. It could have been on a ball team. It could have been a committee. It could have been an organization. Um. But you were a very positive influence in their life. But they I don't think they wanted to admit that you were, is what I'm, I'm trying to say. I hope that makes sense. Spear, heartache over what you no longer have. Um, I think they are heartbroken because they know they lost a good-ass thing with you. Masculine or femme, karmic ba secret karmic baby mama or not. Um, they know they lost a good-ass thing with you. So they have heartache over what they no longer have, and that was you. And that's why they want to come back. Camel, perseverance, and you will overcome problems. For some, they will show up at your residence. Oh, oh my God. Oh, no, nay, nay. I heard for some, they will show up at your residence. Okay, so for some, that's confirmed by spirit. So for some, they will show up at your residence, you guys. So please freaking be careful. Please be careful because they this water sign or water sign sounds very 
they're very emotionally unstable. I'll tell you that. They're very emotionally unstable, for sure, for sure, for sure. Very emotionally unstable, for sure. They're all up in their fields because they know that you were a wonderful, positive influence in their life. They know you were, whoever you are, and however you resonate in this. Um, but they know you are. That's why they're, um, one, probably was obsessed over your ass, and two, are still obsessed for some, and two, that's why they want to come back. I mean, I'm just being serious, for real, for real. Um, but you have to use your best intuition, logic, and judgment, because if they treated you like shiznit, no matter what aspect they were in, a ball team situation, an organization, um, a co-working situation, a business collaboration, um, and obviously the secret baby mama energy still hasn't fucking told you they're a secret baby mama. So why would you allow that kind of toxicity in your life or want it? Um, now, you have free will to allow that kind of toxicity in your life if you want, but that's just nasty. Um, but I heard some of them are going to show up at your doorstep. They're going to show up at your doorstep. So I think this is perseverance to overcome the obsessive water sign energy, masculine or femme, secret baby mama energy or not, to ward them away. Um, if it was me, I would not even answer the damn door. I wouldn't even answer the door. And if um, they happen to catch you outside and they start causing problems, I call the police. Just that simple. But, you know, everybody has free will and you can do what you want. Um, but I think that's the perseverance to overcome the problem when they try to show up at your, some physically at your damn doorstep, you guys, at your damn door. That is the most disrespectful thing you can ever do without calling first or notifying first or asking first. And I am so serious. It really fucking is. We are all adults here. That's very, very, very rude. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't. I didn't. All right, you guys. Well, I hope this helped for real, for real. If you think anyone else could benefit from these messages, please share the videos on your social media. I very much appreciate it. I love and appreciate each and every freaking one of you guys from the bottom of my heart, Shocker. I do. Love y'all. Namaste.